Hello everyone, let's look at ratio rate and speed from secondary 1 mathematics. Okay, what are the learning objectives for this topic? First, find ratios involving rational numbers. Find ratios involving three quantities. Find rates including speed. Differentiate between constant rate, for example, uniform speed, and average rate, example, average speed. Understand real-life applications of rate such as interest rate, currency exchange rate, income tax rate, speed and rate of rotation, and lastly, to solve problems involving ratio, rate and speed. Okay, what is ratio? So, a ratio is used to compare two or more quantities that are measured in the same units. Okay, a ratio has no units. So, the ratio of A to B where A and B represent two quantities of the same kind and units and B is not equal to zero is written as A is to B or A out of B. The order in which the rate, the ratio is expressed is important because A is to B is not equal to B is to A. Okay, two ratios are known as equivalent ratios if they can be reduced to the simplest ratio form. An example of equivalent ratios is 2 is to 3 and 10 is to 15. Alright, you should have learned ratios, the concept of ratios in primary school. Okay, next, what is rate? The okay, rate is used to measure how one quantity changes with respect to another quantity, such as speed, unit cost, and service consumption. Okay, rates over a period of time can be constant or vary. Okay, last, what is speed? Okay, speed is a special form of rate. It is used to measure the rate of change of distance traveled with time. So for example, the formula will be speed is equals to distance over time taken. So you can represent it in a triangle form where distance is at the top and speed and time taken will be below. Okay, an object is said to be moving at a constant speed when its speed remains unchanged throughout the journey. Okay, as a moving object typically has varying speeds at different times, so it is more useful to calculate its average speed. Okay, next, simple interest. For a sum of money or principal, per P dollars, is posited in a bank at a simple interest of R% percent per annum for T years, a simple interest can be calculated using the formula I equals to PRT out of 100. Okay, money exchange. The exchange rates of different currencies fluctuate and change due to the daily demand and supply of currencies. So to earn money, the banks or licensed money changes either impose a direct commission for the exchange or earn indirectly through buying and selling at different rates of exchange. So what is higher purchase? Higher purchase is a transaction where the higher pays a certain amount of installment to the seller in order to have immediate access to the goods. The ownership of the goods is transferred to the higher only when the last installment is paid. Okay, taxation. All right, income tax is imposed on all working citizens and permanent residents and the money collected contributes to the funding of government expenditure and operations. Alright, so those are the technical terms. Okay, next. Simplifying ratios. So express each of the following ratios in its simplest form. So there are four questions here. So 224 is to 75. 64 is to 96 is to 144. One whole 15 out of 49 is to 5 out of 42. 0 0.4 is to 1.64 is to 2.56. So the answers are part A will be 8 is to 25, B will be 4 is to 6 is to 9, C will be 384 is to 35, and lastly part D will be 10 is to 41 is to 64. So the ratios in the simplest form should be in whole number. Okay, next, ratios of two quantities. Simplify each of the following. 
So 65 cents is to one dollar and fifty cents. One whole one out of four kilometers is to five hundred and fifty meters. Okay, but one A1 will be 13 is to 30 and A2 will be 25 is to 11 Okay, part B Given that A is to 12 equals to 4 is to 9 Find the value of A Right, so A will be equals to 5 whole and 1 third Right, so you got to take 12 of 9 times 4 Okay, next, a florist sells pink roses and yellow roses in the ratio 8 is to 3. If she sold a total of 253 roses on a particular day, find the number of roses yellow roses sold. So because a total of 253 will be equal to 11 units. So you need to find 3 units. And this will be 253 divided by 11 times 3. And you get 69 yellow roses. Okay, problem involving rates. Will David work 7 hours a day for 5 days a week to make bread? His monthly wage scheme consists of a basic component of $500 and a variable component of 10 cents per bread he made. If he makes an average of 50 breads an hour or per hour, Find the number of breaks he has he made in a week, his monthly wages. So to find the number of breaks he made in a week, you gotta take seven hours times five days, multiply by fifty bread, and you get one hundred one thousand seven hundred fifty bread in a week. So for his monthly wages, so one thousand seven hundred fifty bread. Multiplied by 10 cents because available component of 10 cents per bread plus $500 basic component, then you multiply by 4 weeks. So you get 1200. Okay, problem involving speed. A MRT travels 10 km at a speed of 80 km per hour from station A to station B. Express this speed in meters per second. So, 8 kilometers per hour equals to 8 kilometer out of 1 hour. So, you convert it's so 80 kilometers per hour will be 80 times 1000 meters. 1 hour will be 60 times 60 seconds. And you calculate this, you get 22, 2 out of 9 meter per second. So, part B. Find the time taken for the train to travel from station A to station B in minutes and seconds. So time taken will be because 10 km will be 10,000 meters divided by 22 to out of 9 meter per second. Right distance time taken equals to distance divided by speed and get 450. And this is equals to 450 seconds and this is equal to 7 minutes 30 seconds Okay, part C If the same train travels 9 km from station B to station C in 6 minutes find its average speed in kilometers per hour for its journey from station A to C Alright, because time taken from station A to C will be equals to 6 plus 7.5 and you get 13.5 minutes all right and this you get 0 0.225 hours all right so you know that is the time taken from a to b so now you know b to c is 6 minutes so 6 plus 7.5 and the average speed in kilometers per hour will be distance ac out of time taken from a to c so the distance a to c will be 10 plus 9 will be 19 kilometers and the time taken will be 0 0.025 0 hours with 84 for the 4 out of 9 kilometers per hour. 
Okay, so this should be this should be 19 kilometers divided by 0 0.225. Okay. Okay, next problem involving constant speed. A freight of train of length 1 km is traveling at a constant speed of 20 km per hour. It enters a 1 km long mountain tunnel at 3 pm. At what time will the rear of the train emerge from the tunnel? Express your answer in terms of 24 hour clock. Okay, so first you find the time taken for the entire train to pass the tunnel and this will be equals to 2 out of 20 alright so when you get 1 out of 10 hours and this is equals to 6 minutes okay next time when the rear of the train emerge from the tunnel will be because it, it takes 6 minutes so 3 p.m. will be 1500 hours. 15 with 6 minutes later will be 1506 hours. Okay, so why do we take 2 to find the time taken for the entire train to pass the tunnel to take 2 kilometers instead of 1 kilometer? Because we are looking at the rear of the train emerging from the tunnel. So the moment the front of the train reaches the tunnel, so the front of the train will, will, to the rear of the train will be one kilometer. So the distance for the rear of the train to reach the the opening of the tunnel to the end of the tunnel will be two kilometers. Okay, next basic practice: write down the rate in each of the flowing. So look at the question A to F and the statements there and write their following rate. So for part A, it should be 8.75 km per litre. Part B will be $15 per hour. Part C, 27 one third cents per unit. Part D will be 40 words per minute. E will be five dollars per tau, and lastly F will be hundred and seventeen and one third cents per minute. Okay, next, if twenty square meters of flooring cost thirty six dollars, find the cost of one square meter of flooring, the cost of fifty five meters square meters of flooring, and the area of the same flooring if the cost is sixty three dollars. So part A, you just take thirty six. Divided by 20. So $6 divided by 20 and you get $1.80. Then to find 55 square meters, $1.80 multiplied by 55, you get $99. And for the area of the same flooring, if the cost is $63, so if one square meter is $1.80, so $63, you'll get 35 square meters. Okay, next, a bus company charges $1.35 a kilometer to charter a bus. Each bus can transport 54 students. So how much should each child pay? If the distance to be covered is 50 kilometers. So 1 kilometer is $1.35. 50 kilometers will be $67.50. So divided by 54 students will be $1.25 each. Okay, next, a rectangular brass sheet of length 1.5 meters and breadth 75 centimeters weighs 7.2 kg. Find the area in square meters of another similar sheet of brass if which weighs 12.8 kg. So first you need to find the area. So 1.5 times 0.75 you'll get 1.125 square meters. Right, remember the breadth is 75 centimeters, change it to a meter, so it'll be 0.75. Next, the area 1.125 square meters will weigh 7.2 kilogram. So one, so you take 1.125 divided by 
you get 0 0.15625 then you take 0 0.15625 multiplied by 12.8 kilogram then you get 2 square meters Okay, next 45 men works 8 hours a day to finish a project if 5 men are unable to report for work how long should the rest of the men take to finish the same project on time so total number of hours each day will be 45 times 8 will be 360 hours alright 360 hours to finish the project for one day so number of hours each man need to work with 40 men because 5 men are unable to report to work with 360 divided by 40 and you get 9 hours. So that's all. Thank you. Bye bye.